What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, and Polo and Cola going back and forth, and people in the battle rap community choosing sides on who they believe and telling the truth, who they believe is right, who they believe is wrong, where did it all fall apart at? <clears throat> A lot of people were wondering if Tony Bro gonna come to the forefront and shed some light on this situation. Why should he? Why should he? Who cares in the long run? Who really cares? Nobody really cares. Just do what y'all doing. Polo been black compass before Colo got Cola got there. Drizzy no longer there. Tony Bro no longer there. Polo been there from day one. Go ahead and just take over the channel like rightfully so you're supposed to do. Cola is the big speaker. He's known in battle rap. People know who he is. He's a a name amongst the community like any other blogger is, do your thing. Do you, let him do him, because it ain't coming back together again. In fact, Polo liked this better, okay? He liked it better. This way he wanted to be anyway, okay? He wanted to be right here anyway, especially since he ain't got to divvy up the money really no more with nobody for the most part. You get what I'm saying? So, and rightfully so, when you see what's happening, rightfully so. And this is one of the reasons why, again, Tony Bro fell back. He 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 don't want nothing to do with none of the mess no more. From what y'all said, y'all all said he just had a child. Y'all all all said he actually have a real good job where he make real good money and he's a career working man. So all this stuff is just irrelevant. Why? Why? Why do he need to say anything? Why do he need to clear the air on anything? Especially if him clearing the air actually means he's choosing a side that then make the person want to go against him. So who should he speak up for? Or, and what if Tony Bro was playing both sides? What if he was telling Polo one thing and telling Cola another thing? Because sometimes it seemed like that's what that was being said. I think the screenshots speak for themselves on what both of y'all was arguing. And at the end of the day, it's only between both of y'all. This is both of y'all's argument. This is both of y'all argument. My, you know, my whole thing is when, here's the thing that be getting me. When people start out together, how it's always love, 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 love. Oh, that's my guy. It's my click, man. I roll with them. Whatever you do, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. One situation, a problem occurred. Or even two, or even three. Now it ain't love no more. I thought I was your brother. You were willing to risk it all for me before. Now it ain't love. Now, now, now you don't care. Now you don't mind telling the behind the scenes secrets, airing out the dirty laundry between us two to a bunch of strangers who don't care nothing about us two. We didn't travel together, talked on the phone together. So was any of that real? Did you really love me? Was I really your friend? Were we really guys? Or was you just using me? Or were we just using each other? So all of this was fake? We could have disagreements to not be together, but do that mean we got to speak against each other? Do that mean we got to disrespect each other? Do that mean we got to hate each other? Do you have to cause the friction of animosity between us just to justify not ever wanting to work with me again? Was it ever really love? Or was it just a lie? Because when these things happen, you find out what it really was. And if I'm listening to what's going on, this ain't love. This wasn't homies. This wasn't guys. This wasn't boys. Because homies, boys, and guys shouldn't do this stuff. Homies, brothers, and guys shouldn't do this stuff. If it really love like that. I can't imagine seeing one of my guys cutting on this internet saying, yeah, let me tell y'all something about that nigga Malachi. Yeah, so I can't see that. And we have made each other mad a few times. They disagree with some things I do. I disagree with some things they do. But because it's love, because it's respect, because we really guys, I could never do that. And I think that they never did that type of stuff. 
But I be tripping off how it really is. Look at the verb hitman situation. Like what we really guys? Did you really have love and respect for me? You sitting up here hating on me? You don't want me on the card to get money? You speaking down on me? Here I am right beside you. Ready to fight k sign now. Ready to fight Bridge Walk thing now. Supporting you in your battles in your corner. Then you telling this man not to look out for me while I'm trying to do something like I'm some type of con artist. Like I'm a thief. Like I'm safety. Like I'm finna pull one over on a man because you because you ain't involved in it. Or because you trying to shelter the man money. Because you all in his pockets. So you trying to act like you a side chick. So you hating on me. I knew you before, Gerald McCoy. Was it ever really God's? Was we really God's? That's what's crazy. That would be the thing for me. If it's love, it's love. If it's hate, it's hate. Let me know where it's at so I can know how to handle it. Don't act like you love me, but you're really hating on me. Don't say, don't say we brothers when you really are up. Same thing they were trying to say about Donald Trump and Biden. Oh, Donald Trump a racist. Huh? Donald Trump is a racist. Okay, he's a racist. But throughout this man's career and history of business, all he's doing is hiring black people, putting them in position to win. But you don't believe Biden a racist who literally in office as a politician passing laws responsible for mass black American incarcerations that he literally on record agreeing and saying he put in play and tried to issue an apology for deliberately putting together laws and bills to purposely arrest black people, but Trump the racist. Trump the racist when he fighting against abortion, but Biden them and Carmella them not when they fighting for abortion that murders 75% of minority children that these places of clinics that set up to do these abortions are in all majority urban communities where the blacks and Hispanics live. But he a racist trying to put an end to killing the blacks and Hispanic babies. But Biden not, who is for killing the black and Hispanic babies. Like, like what is people's minds and mentalities at? We see this all the time. A man's enemy become used to be his friend. This, this is what we come to. And this is how come I learned, man. You know what I learned, man? I, man, keep it short and simple, man. Keep it short and simple. Like, hey, how you doing, man? Just keep it short and simple. That's what I learned. Just keeping it short and simple. Hey, what's up? Not in trouble, too. Not no cool. All right, man, be safe out here. You too, brother. Out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to be around you too long that you start plotting on me. Short and simple. Let me tell y'all something. And this game going to save y'all life. No true alpha male can stay under or around other males. I'm an alpha male. I'm not going to be up under no dude thinking he lowering himself over me. I'm not going to be around no dude thinking he more gangster than me more really than me it's not gonna happen i'm gonna keep it short and simple high and by period i'm not gonna let you be around me if you are alpha male like that you know why because i know it's only a matter of time before you start plotting on my money on my woman on my position no so i'm not going to look 
So I'm gonna do me and you both a favor. We cool, show love, dap, see you when I see you, it is what it is, but yeah, yeah, I'll holler at you. And because I'm not around like, like that, you ain't thinking about me. You thinking about the ones that is around you. You thinking about the ones you do see all the time. I'm the furthest thing from your mind. And since I'm the furthest thing from your mind, you have no idea whatsoever of what I'm doing and what I got going on. So guess what? I ain't the one you thinking about plotting on. Because you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. You plotting on the one you do know about, that you do know how to build a plan around. I learned that. That's what you see all the time. I ain't with the fake stuff. I ain't with the phony stuff. One thing I learned about this internet, everybody real, everybody tough, everybody a gangster, everybody a lover man, a lover boy. Nobody, nobody broke, nobody's a coward, nobody a lame. Right. Because on this internet, you can be anybody you want to be. If you could sell it to get somebody to believe in it. So no, nah, Tony Bro shouldn't say nothing. The best thing, that's one of the best things you can do, Tony Bro. Don't involve yourself in stupidity. Let me tell you something. It's it it comes a time as a man, you just get tired of the bull. See, that's how I am. I just can't keep doing the same things over and over and over again that's not benefiting and profiting me nothing. I, I can't do that. Neither do I want to do that. You get what I'm saying? It is what it is, though, man. So, again, here's my thing. And here's my advice. Polo, do your thing, man. But let me tell you and Cola something. Y'all become the jokes to one another. Y'all become the jokes to one another. Let me tell you why. Because... The people on your channel, Cola, that so-called support you, that's laughing at Polo, on Polo's channel, the one that's supporting him, is laughing at you. But guess what? Y'all both being laughed at. This internet don't care. They want to be entertained by your sorrows. They want to be entertained by y'all failures. They want to be entertained by y'all separations and breakups because they want to be fed the negativity. That's all it's about. They don't care about you. They don't care about him. They just want to be fed by the negativity if you got it to offer. Now, I say this to both of you brothers, and this is some real stuff. As men, if you really had love and respect for them brothers, make peace with each other, but y'all ain't got to work together. It's obvious Polo want to do his own thing, and it's about time for you, Cola, to do your own thing. Look at this as a lane where you can do your own thing and be you without having to uh, look over your shoulder to see if you need approval from anybody. And allow Polo, Polo to do whatever he wants to do, and it is what it is. But if y'all really was brothers and really had any type of love and respect for one another, like y'all said, oh, they put me in position. Like, I was there for you. I did this. Then be there for each other right now. Be there for each other right now, even though y'all ain't working together. You can still, look, if it, look, if it was love, it was love. If it wasn't, it, was, it, it wasn't. Just tell me what it is. But I think at this point, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. But just so it wouldn't be no animosity or bad blood as a man, I'm just real enough to make peace and just leave it on. I can make peace and just leave it alone. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth, man. It's, my, it's your boy Battle Truth. Tony Bro, to, <laughs> Tony Bro ain't gonna say nothing. He shouldn't say nothing. Tony Bro doing the right thing. Bustin' no streets for you Leave me waiting on you Bustin' no streets for you